Before uploading images to Panoramio.com, you will want to make sure that your images are all collected in one place if they are not already. Again, remember that these images can be either original images that you took yourself or purchased off of a site such as iStockphoto.com, or they can be the bannered images that you added text to using SplashUp.com. These can be the same images that you have already uploaded to other photo sharing sites, or they can be new and unique photographs. It's up to you. You will need your URL spreadsheet, your account spreadsheet, and your company information spreadsheet, and you should also have set up your Gmail account and Panoramio account by this point. The first thing we're going to do here is copy the Gmail address that we have set up. Open in a different browser, Panoramio.com. In the upper right hand corner, click Sign In. And then sign in using your Gmail address. Once you are into Panoramio, go ahead and click Upload. Click Upload Photos and then select the photo or photos that you would like to upload. While it's uploading here, you can see that there's a section for title, description, and tags. So if we go back to the URL spreadsheet, you can copy the title that you've already written. If you've not already written a title, that's okay. You can just go ahead and type right in here and then copy whatever you type in here back into your URL spreadsheet. So let me go back here and grab the description and paste that into that field. And then tags are anything that people might be searching for. So if they're looking for a specific photograph in Panoramio, um, they might be able to find it better if your photo is tagged for that. You might want to consider this maybe a form of a keyword um, just for searching for photographs. So here is a good place to put in any keywords that you have from your keyword research that you already completed for your company. It's also a good idea to put in your company name in case somebody is searching specifically for your company um, and also city in case people are searching by city. So just for example, I'm going to type in here a couple keywords. Remember that these are just for examples for the video. Um, these are not necessarily keywords that I would recommend if you are a counseling or addiction counseling um, facility. So those are just a couple examples here. So once you've got a couple tags in here, maybe about four or five, you can go ahead and click Done or Close. And then also don't forget this is the most important step here is to click Map This Photo. In this bar here, you're going to go ahead and paste in your address. I'm going to skip this step because in my company spreadsheet, you'll see that I have um, just a fake address here, 123 Example Drive. Um, Google obviously is not going to recognize that, so I'm not even going to bother pasting it in here. But you should go ahead and paste in your address, and if Google for some reason cannot locate this immediately, you might have to place the marker on the map yourself. So, um, But this is the most important part here because the more addresses you have on the internet, again, we're talking about that citation that Google and other search engines count. Um, so this address would be considered a citation, and the more of those that you have, the better. So this is a really good um, feature that Panoramio offers, and we want to take advantage of that. So once you have the location set up, go ahead and click Done. And then you can either add more photos if you haven't already, or click I'm Done. And here you will see that your image is now in your gallery of images. You can go ahead and click on each individual picture then. You should see all the title, description, and the map of the photograph. Just for future reference, if you ever accidentally delete an incorrect photo, you can go ahead and delete it here. Um, the next step that we're going to take in a normal situation, though, is to copy the URL in the bar at the top of the page, and then come back to your URL spreadsheet and paste that URL into the URL column. Also, don't forget that you want to add your file name. So this is the name of the file that's on your computer. I used think.png. So I'm going to simply type in think.png. 
And again, remember that this is just um, in case your Panoramio account ever is uh, deleted or if somebody accidentally logs in and deletes a couple of the images. Um, here you have a record of what has been uploaded, uh, which file exactly, which title, and which description. So you can go ahead and replace those files that were um, missing. So at this point, once you have all of your photographs uploaded, you will have finished the step of uploading pictures to Panoramio. So you can go ahead and click your username in the upper right-hand corner, and then click Sign Out.